Hello Nidorinas and Nidorinos, it is King Nido here and I hope you are keeping yourself warm as we are coming to you from the Surchester City as the Ice Type Frost are hosting the Shamudi Keepers and they will have the type advantage over the Fine Types as Gyarados and Cold Knight start out for the Keepers. It is Warren and Galarian Diamantan starting out for the Frost. Gyarados' Intimidate ability is activated, Warren avoids that though. Thanks to its oblivious ability, but Darmantan will have its physical attack stat lowered, and it has that 140 base as it immediately goes for that grass type move on Gyarados. As Gyarados goes for the gravity, this is only going to affect the flying types. So it will bring both Gyarados and Corviknight down to the ground. Corviknight, though, with the fusion bolt, surely it's going to go for Warring with this move to capitalize on that part water type. But that goes for Darmantan and still gets a fantastic hit. Warring with the scary face, looking to lower the speed here of Gyarados and it will succeed. See if the Ice Types can move faster as Darmanitan with the slash onto Corviknight. Not very effective due to that steel typing, but Corviknight with the attack order continuing to go for Darmanitan. A great hit. Darmanitan such an easy target as Warring with the coaching here. It is going to boost that attack stat back up of Darmanitan as well as the defense as Gyarados with the payday onto Darmanitan. Darmanitan holds on. Barely, but it's Zen mode will be activated. It is now a fire ice type as it has been triggered. And Darmantan with the bullet seed now on to Gyarados. Connects with the first one of this multi-hit move. Surely it wants to get all five, but it only gets two though. As now Corviknight with the core enforcer will hit both ice types, which is surely going to finish Darmantan off. And that it does. It does a bit of damage to Warren, but Darmantan is taken out of this matchup. And now Warren with the round onto Corviknight, doing very minimal damage and not very effective attack there. As Gyarados is going to go for the mud shot onto Warren. Isn't going to do much damage, however, it will lower that speed of Warren. So maybe Gyarados can now move quicker than it. As Avalug comes out and Corviknight with the brutal swing hits everybody on the field. And Warren with the parabolic charge doing the same and eliminates Gyarados with that quad effective move. Warren is also going to restore its health from all the Pokemon on the field, but it was super effective on the two flying type Pokemon, especially Gyarados, who is now taken out. It is a five on five battle. Search Chester Frost need to win here to try and keep their season alive. Shamuda Keep is trying to work their way into the Elite Four. They've been fighting for a position in the Elite Four desperately and just seem to get knocked out of it at the end of every round as Charizard comes out for the Shamuda Keepers. It has that fire type in. Surely wants to capitalize on immediately going for the Reflect. Will make its side stronger against physical moves. Corviknight follows it up with the Muddy Water. This will hit both Warren and Avalug, doing more damage to Avalug. It's not very effective on Warren, who goes for the Peck onto Charizard, doing very little damage to the Cantonian Firestarter, but Avalug with the Swords Dance here. It is going to boost its physical attack and it has that 117 base physical attack as Charizard with the Ice Punch onto Warren. That move is tanked heavily by Warren doing such little damage but Corviknight with the Leaf Tornado onto Avalug. Surely it should have gone for Warren with that move but will lower the accuracy of Avalug as Warren with the Flame Throw. It is going for Corviknight. That super effective move takes Corviknight out. Warren has eliminated two of the Flying Tops with super effective moves. That is a fantastic play there. And Avalug now with the coil is going to boost its attack yet again. Gets a defense boost as well and it has 184. That's even more impressive than its physical attack. As Dragonite now comes out for the Shamuda Keepers. And a Fury Swipes will connect twice from Charizard to Warren. And Dragonite follows it up with the Glacier. Hitting both Warren and Avalug with that move. Does do alright to Avalug as it is resisted by both Ice Type Pokemon. It does lower their speed. However, the Shamuda Keepers already have the speed advantage. Warren, though, with the Rock Sliders, gets another court effective move onto one of the Flying Types and connects with both of them at the same time. And Avalug, again, boosting its physical stats with the growth here. So, boosting that physical attack. And Charizard, though, with the Snipe Shot onto Avalug, will finish it off. Avalug boosted all of its stats and never got to capitalize on it. And Dragonite follows it up with the High Jump Kick. Onto Warren, completing the huge play with that super effective move, taking out the two Pokemon in the one turn. Vanillax does come out and is joined by Krogonal for the search as to Frost. Krogonal immediately with the confusion onto the pseudo legendary, doing a bit of chip damage there. Charizard, though, with the stuff cheeks, is going to boost its defense as it eats its love berry and restore its PP at the same time. 
And Dragonite, what is it thinking? Going for the Lunar Dance, it takes itself out of this matchup. That is not what you have a Pseudo Legendary on your team to do. You have it there to make an impact as the Sandroom won't affect Charizard from Vanilla. So the Surge has to first to hold in their own against the Shamuda Keepers as Noivon comes out and immediately with the Throat Chop onto Kragonal. Great hit there. Kragonal with the Tar Shot is actually going to make Charizard weaker to fly type moves. It's also going to slow it down, lowering that speed stat. Vanillax with the takedown now onto Charizard, doing a little bit of damage, and Vanillax gets a bit of recoil with that. There's Charizard now with the work up. It is going to boost its stats here, but as I said, the Search as the Frost are holding their own. Those attack stats boosted of Charizard as the wrap from Noivern onto Vanillax. Does a critical hit, in fact, surprising to see, but it will also activate Vanillax's weak armor. That does lower its defense, but boosts its speed. See if Vanillax can actually move faster than Noivern, as Vanillax with the skill swap is actually going to give that weak armor to Noivern and take its infiltrator ability. That could actually be very beneficial to Vanillax, especially if it is quicker than Noivern. Now, as the brutal swing from Kragonal hits everyone on the field, doing very little damage to all the Pokemon, in fact, and Noivern's weak armor ability immediately activated Charizard with the Razor Shell here. Onto Kragonal, gets a great hit on Kragonal and lowers its defense stat in the process. Kragonal is an easy target though, as that wrap does do more damage to Vanillax. And now Noivern with the Pedal Dance onto Vanillax, gets a fantastic hit. Vanillax responding with the Headbutt onto Charizard. Charizard holds on though, and Kragonal with the Doom Desire, choosing Doom as the destiny for one of its opponents. Charizard though with the Drill Run is going to finish Vanillax off. This puts the Shmoody Keepers back in front. That is what they need. Vanillax is eliminated and out comes Glacier on the Evolution. Noivern with the Pedal Dance finishes Kragonal off. The Evolution is now all by itself. It has three flying type Pokemon to contend with. Glaceon with the power swap though, it's going to give its impressive 130 attacks that to Noivern. What is it thinking? Noivern's doing that pedal dance as Glaceon's hit by the acid spray from Charizard. Its special defense gets lowered as well and Noivern with the pedal dance. This might actually be able to get the elimination and it does. Glaceon is taken out. That was a perfect storm for the Shamuda Keepers. Noivern's left confused. It probably doesn't even know that it just won the game for the Shamuda Keepers, but that it has done. That is fantastic for the Flying Tops as they have now moved themselves up into fourth place and they should finish this round in that position. That is a fantastic outcome for the Flying Tops who will be facing the Bell and the Angels in our very next round. And speaking of our very next, very next matchup, the Bell and the Angels will be hosting your police Dragons. They will have the type advantage as the Drakens try to actually get on top of the leaderboard, the Angels try to get into the Masters 8. I cannot wait for that matchup. Also, just so you know, the Search Chester Frost will be facing the Pewter Stones in our next round. But until then, Nidorinos and Nidorinos, thank you so much for watching. Let us know in the comments below who you thought was the best on the field. And always remember, you are awesome, and I'll see you when you see me.